This video clip presents how to create custom cutting planes in the floor plan section as well as 3D project views. Here you can see a typical floor plan of a multi-story building project. Let's create some custom cutting planes in this floor plan view. Let's click the 3D cutaway option in the standard toolbar and then select the create custom cutting plane option from the pop-up list. Now let's click twice on the floor plan view to define the position of the vertical cutting plane. Let's open the 3D window to see the results. Let's return to the floor plan view and open a section view to create a custom cutting plane in this view. We will use the create custom cutting plane command from the standard toolbar as we did earlier. We can define the position of the new cut plane by clicking twice into the section view. The cut plane created is perpendicular to this view. Let's first see the result in the 3D window and then also in the floor plan view. Please note that in the floor plan view, the orthogonal cut plane which was created in the view earlier is displayed by a continuous bold line. The cut plane created in the section view is displayed by a dashed line because this cut plane is not perpendicular to the direction of the floor plan projection. Let's open the 3D view and create another custom cut plane here. We can start by right-clicking any of the cut plane handles in the 3D view. Let's select the Create Custom Cutting Plane option from the context menu. Creating a new cut plane in 3D view requires three clicks. The first two define the axis of the pane, and the third click defines its rotation. ARCHICAD provides real-time feedback about the effect of the cut plane in 3D. Additional arbitrary 3D cutting planes can be added to the project. The position of existing cut planes can also be modified in the 3D window.